Thank you. You can. I'm fine. Thank you. You can. Yeah. Okay. Good to hear. Good to hear. And G E. Yeah, G E is how. How do you say your name? Uh, G E Liu. Uh, you can just call me Liu. Liu. Okay. Yes. How How are you, Liu? I'm good. Okay. Good. Uh, Jane, um, I can see you writing, but I have not heard you speak, <laughs> so I cannot hear you. Um, let's see, Vitor, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. And Sh Shalon? Sh Shalom? Shalom. Shalom, how are you? Great, thank you. All right. Um, and where are you from, Shalom? Brazil. Okay, cool. I'm uh, glad you can make it. And uh, let's see. Yeah, no problem. Liliana? Uh, yes. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, hello. Hear you. Okay, Hi. good, good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you as well. Uh, thanks for joining the class. Thank um, you. Yeah. Um, the reason it's dark is because I'm outside, uh, because this is the only place where the internet is in the uh, around the hotel. Uh, so you'll just have to bear with me. Uh, I cannot go to the light because then you will lose, or I will lose the connection. So this is the best I can do. But you don't need to see my face. Uh, you just need it. It doesn't matter. You just need to hear how I say words, uh, English words specifically. If I start speaking in Mandarin, this does not help you. So, okay, um, this is a pronunciation class. My name is Ben. Uh, if for any reason at all you have a question, uh, or if you already know words you don't understand how to pronounce, um, this is an open class, so anytime you want to ask me a question, feel free. I'm just going to do different activities to get us to speak as much as possible and to try to pronounce as many words as possible so we can understand them okay okay all right um, first thing I want the first thing I want to do is kind of go over a few rules so if you are actually uh, not speaking but reading English you can then look at the words and if you remember a few of these rules it will help you pronounce uh, the words correctly okay yes and where am I okay so let me let me share this website with you guys, and a lot of it uh, I'm not even using. I'm kind of about one third of the way down, where it says English spelling rules, and there's 12 rules that I want to go over, uh, just so we can uh, understand uh, when we see a word, uh, we know how to pronounce it correctly. Okay, so now the first rule is called the CVC rule and that simply stands for consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay, This is very simple uh, but first we need to know do you guys know the difference between a consonant and a vowel? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yeah. why don't you guys yes, tell me do. what uh, vowels are? Vowels no. A, E, o I, O, U. And sometimes there's what? Y. Y. Sorry. Yes. Y. Yeah. Y. Yeah. Yes. A E I O U and sometimes Y. Those are our vowels, and then everything else is a consonant. So when they say C V C, that simply means you're going to have a three-letter word, consonant, and then a vowel, and then another consonant. So the first rule, you can see these uh, very simple words and the vowel is short 99% of the time and therefore you use short vowels so instead of saying rate right uh, instead of saying the a or the e or the i you do the short vowel sound so you see rat hen sit not cut why don't you guys go ahead and say those words cut cut cut, cut. Okay. Repeat after me. Cut. R rat. 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 
Hin. Hin. Okay. Okay. Do you guys know the word rhyme? Rhyme. Rhyme. Do you? Do you? Do you? Um, do you understand uh, the definition of the word rhyme? Yes. yes. It's okay. uh, a word game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what rhymes with the sound of rat? No, no. What call it? Cat. Exactly, cat. What else? Sit. Uh, eat. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, those don't rhyme. Those don't rhyme with the same at sound. So you have rat and rat. bat, bat and cat, cat and sat and uh, fat. Hat. All of these and hat. Yeah, all of these have the same ending sound, but they have a different first consonant. Okay, so rat, bat, cat, sat, fat. Uh, all of those have the same sound. Okay. Well, what rhymes with hin? Think of a number. What rhymes with the word hin? Hint. Min. Ten. How many? Uh, six. Yeah. Hin. Six. 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 Six doesn't rhyme with hin. <laughs> no, no. Ten. Ten, hen, uh, ten, hen, ten. Ten. Oh, ten. Yeah. What? Wh what's my name? Ben. Ben. Uh, ah. Ben. Yeah. Ben. So ten. Ben. ben. And ten. Hen. Ten. Win. Yeah. Okay. Same sound. Okay. The next word is sit. 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 Okay. Meet. Can you think of other words that rhyme Meet. with sit? Meet. Meet. Hit. Yeah, mit. Bit. Sit. Hit. Okay, good, good. Fit. Okay. Uh, excellent. And the next word is not. Okay, the next word is not. And then cut. So that's the first, uh, the first rule. Okay. Anytime you see a three-letter word, ninety-nine percent of the time, it is going to the vowel is going to be a short vowel sound. Okay. Now, rule number two: when you have a um, a CVC, but at the end of it you have an e, that e you do not pronounce. It's silent. Okay. So here you do not say the e. Okay, because it's silent and you have a long vowel sound. So now rat turns into rate. Okay, here, sight, note, cute. And you can hear the long vowel. You can actually hear the A E I O U. Okay, listen, rate, A A A, ray, A A, rate. Okay, um, so here the e on the end of the word is silent, so you do not pronounce it. But the first vowel is long. Hey, could you type it then, please? Then yeah. Words that you are saying. What was the word? I can hear it. I don't. I don't understand the word. Okay, the word is rate. Oh, rate. 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 Okay. And it's a long it, song sound, sorry. Yes, yes, you're correct. It's a long vowel sound. So you can hear the A in rate. Okay. Now and the E is silent. So when you see a word and the E there's an E at the very end, you do not pronounce the E. Okay? So what about how would you say this word? Fate. Exactly. Fate. Fate. Like a rate. Exactly. Cake. What about this one? Cake. 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 Okay. Now I'm going to change the vowel. What about this? Sight. 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 Yes. Um, now here, this is the same sound. I don't want to confuse you. This is the same sound as sight. Fight. 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 Okay. Yes. Now 
the English is weird, and uh, you can have words that rhyme with one another, even though they're spelled differently. But I want to go back to the E's, okay? So I don't want to confuse you. Here's this. Bite. 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 The vowel yeah. is, no, is no sound. Yeah, the E, no sound. No sound at all. Okay? okay, so this is easy. This is easy for you to know. Okay, anytime you see an E uh, at the end, you don't have to say it. I changed the vowel. So how would you pronounce it? Cute. Yes, cute. 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 Okay, and let me find, let's see, what do I have? Okay. How about this one? Here. 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 Now, how do you how do you say this? Here. 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 Yes, uh, you say it the same, um, but one means a key. <laughs> one means here. right here, and the other means <laughs> I cannot hear you. Here. Yes. Here. Here. Listen. Okay. Exactly. Uh, and one more, one more, okay? And then we'll move to the next rule. Note. 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 Okay? Uh, so remember this rule. It's very handy. Anytime you see a word with an E on the end of it, 99% of the time that E is silent, and the other vowel has a long vowel sound. So you actually say... A E I O U. Okay? Love. Uh, and that is uh, where English does not work. <laughs> that rule does not work there. <laughs> like I said, 99% of the time. Love. Okay? Love. Uh, there are. Love is in the 1%. What's the question? Love is in the 1%. What love would be in the one percent? Because listen to the sound, la uh uh uh. It sounds like an an a. It doesn't sound like an o. You don't say love. You say love. Love. And so so the o has a different sound to it. Um, it has uh uh of instead of o o o. Love. love. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the one percent. Okay, okay, let's move. Sorry, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. No, note. How do you pronounce O? Like a O O. Note. 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 Like a note. 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 Yes. Note. Um, just just a single O, because uh, here, how do you say that? Nose. 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 Oh, oh, oh. But how do you say this? Noose. 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 Like you. Noose. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, new. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so it almost sounds like this. It almost is this. It's very similar. Noose. Okay, noose. 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 Nuss. Laura, that's a nuss. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so let's go to the, the third rule. And this is about um, C's and K sounds. So here is the rule. And I'll just, since some of you cannot join or see it, the website, here's the rule. So you have a hard C sound. So when you have a C plus an A or a C plus an O, or even a C plus a U, okay, then the C will have a K sound, like kill, ka-ka-ka, ka-ka-cat, ka-ka-cut, ka-ka-cord, uh, code, okay, code, yeah, the C now has a ka-ka-ka, coconut, chocolate, okay, it has a Coca-Cola, exactly, very good. So here, the vowel, it doesn't matter if the vowel is short or long. 
So, but when you have a C plus an A or a C plus an O or a C plus a U, it's going to sound like a K. Okay? Cold. 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 Uh, Cold. How about this? Cool. 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 Okay? And so it has the same sound. How do you say this? Kite. Kite. Exactly. No, no, no. no. Remember the E is yes, kite. 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 The E is silent but and the I is long. long. For well, for, for the K I T E, the uh, yeah, the I is long, the E is silent, and you still use the K sound. Okay, so those are the first three rules. Yes, okay. okay, let's move on. No, we don't. Here, here, here's an example that we can use. I there is a lot of noise. Sorry, but I, I can hear you well. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, background noise. Um, for anybody uh, talking to their child, it, that's okay. But go ahead and mute yourself um, while you're having that conversation, so everybody else can hear. Thank you so much. Now, it's okay. It's okay. What do you guys say? How do you say all those C's? Okay. Repeat it after me. The con man can put a cane into a cone and a cub into a cube. The can man can put a can into a can and cube into a cube. cube. Close. The very put a can into a cone and cube into a cube. Something like that. Yes, yes. Uh, it's cub and then cube. Cub. Into a cube. Yeah. Into a cube. And a cub is a baby bear. That's a cub. Okay. Um, it's my ben. door. Ben? Okay. Yes? I got a question. Yes, uh, go ahead. Is there any rule about you because you said cub into a cube? And there are some words like public and popular. Do you know okay. any rule about uh, the U pronunciation? About my pronunciation? About, no, the, the letter U. The, the letter U. Um, yeah, like uh, public uh, and popular, uh, for example. Uh, popular. Well, okay. Popular is with a P-O-P, -P, and then P, and then public is P-U-B. Um, I don't, I, I'm not the, I, I had to look all this up myself so I can teach you guys correctly. Uh, I'm so used to pronouncing these words, I don't think of the, uh, the rules. So to be honest with you, uh, I don't have a rule on me at this second that can help you. Maybe with what I'm teaching you, maybe if we go a little bit farther down, they will have a rule that uh, helps you to use the U, the letter U. But right now, I, yeah, I, I don't because know. I never, I never found any rule about it. For example, cute, cute, uh, cub. Uh, what did you say? Uh, okay, like, yeah, cute cub and cute. cube. And the letter okay. here is which between C and B, or you know? Yeah, well, and we here, pronounce differently. Uh, that's true. But look at the the first two, cute and cub. Or sorry, not cute and cube. They have the same U sound, okay? Because they both have a silent E on the end. Now, cub is different because of that. There is no uh, E afterwards, um, and it is a short vowel sound. So it's uh 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 cute cub. Um, how about this? What what do you think? This? How do you say this, guys? Cob. Cob. Yes, Cobb. Um, and and Shalom, I, I apologize. I don't have anything that can help you this second. But maybe if <laughs> no, we keep on okay. going, the, yeah, I apologize. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, so I told you about the the rule for a hard C. Okay. 
when you have a C with an A, an O, or a U, you have a K sound. But if you have a C with an E, or an I, or a Y, the C actually has an S sound. Okay, so let's see. Uh, ah, here we go. So if it has an S sound with an E, an I, or an Y, how would you say that? So, that word. Cell. So. Yes. Cell. Cell. Cemetery. Okay, cemetery. You say it with an S. So anytime you see a C with an E, an I, or a Y, you use you say an S. If you see it with an A, an O, or a U, you have a K sound. Okay? So here. How about this? Cynic. Yes, cynic. Okay. Cynic. Um, Sue, so what's a CI word? CI blah blah blah. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of a word that what begins with that? CI. Who was so, that? I'm talking to my fiance. Uh, okay. Okay. Here. What? Is, how do you say that? Exactly. Exactly. No, it's okay. It's it's correct. You say with an S. So cycle and cinder block and city. Uh, perfect, guys. Okay, so now you know uh, Cinderella. Okay, so if you have a C with an I and and a Y or yeah. Here, <laughs> sorry. If you have a C with an E, an I, or a Y, you're going to have an S sound. Okay, so you can say, how would you say this sentence? The city center has a circle. Okay, very good. And now try this. We recite the cyclical cycle. I will recite the cyclical cycles of circular circular cells. Okay, yeah. Cycle I, I think you guys got it. I will recite the cyclical cycles of circular cells. Is that like a tongue twister? <laughs> Basically. Yes. Okay. So the why, why do you say cycles and then you but you say cyclical cycles and cyclical cycles um, because of uh, okay to be honest with you <laughs> I don't know um, but how, this is how I look at it when I see when I see cyclical I say cyclical. And so I say cyclical, okay. And then when I see cycle, I see cycle. And then here you have cynical, and and I think it just takes practice to see where words go. Because how would you say? How would you say this? Psych. Yeah, you would say, okay, just let's try this. Uh, wait. Cycle. Cycle. Well, pronounce it that way. You would say, it, it is cycle, but let's try to pronounce it how I have it split up. You would say, sickly, sickly, um. you know? And so, it, so it changes how you Sick. pronounce the words. And so you have to just look at what it shows you, and you say, "Okay, um, let, me, let me think of a word." Responsibility. Yeah. So where did we see it? We see. Okay. We we first see the prefix. Okay. That's a that's a good start. 
So you know re as a prefix, and it's bon si bil li t, and that's how it looks. Oh, and, and and so right. take take any word you have and try to break it up by words that with letters you can you can say it. If you try to say if you try to add different words to um, a sound, it, it it's going to change how the word is said. So try to say spell the same word, spell responsibility, but add different letters together. So this on Okay, so look at this one. Responsibility. It's spelled the same way. Responsibility. But now you're saying it differently. Okay, based on the letter combinations, you're saying responsibility. Okay, it's the same word, but now you're pronouncing it differently just based on the combination of letters. Okay, uh, so Freddie, um, anybody can see what Freddie put? What? How would you say that? Psych. 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 All of you are all of you are very close, but I have not heard the correct Psychic. pronunciation. Psychic. No. Um, here, let me see. How do I? Say? <laughs> oh, come on. Physique. 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 Really? Physique. Yeah. How to pronounce it sounds very that? strange. It does sound very strange, but you could say that person has a wonderful physique. You, you put the stress in the first syllable, sorry? Yes. Uh, but uh, no, also in the last, because you seek, seek, and you, and you, yeah. Well, you don't say physique, you say physique. Physique. And so that... The, well, the the I is a um, is an E, so fizzy E Zeke, and the S sounds like a Z, like a Z. Fizik. Okay, so fizik. So it sounds like it sounds like this. Fizik. 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 Okay, well, how would you say this? Uh, um, mystic. 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 This is mystic. 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 And there is physic, mystic. okay, with, with Freddy. So, for the mystic. one I put in is mystique. Uh, the last. Mystic. Now, so mystic. Mystic. How would you say the next one? Mist. 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 Yes. Mist. Yes. Okay. All right. So um, sometimes, actually, when you when you add different letters uh, to change uh, how you use the word, you actually change the sound. And I cannot think of an example to help me out, but I promise you, it's true. And if I can think of a word, I will show you how it changes. Uh, even if you just add like an al to the end of it, um, and, but I cannot think of one right now. Um, how to say it? So, I'll, um, but yeah, Freddie, the Mystic River. There, it's nice. So let's move to the next rule. Okay. Uh, question, please. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, how, yeah, how to pronounce this? Okay, MacGyver or MacGyver? Uh, Mick Giver. Mick. It's an ancient series. Uh, I remember it, we all had a, a strong show. discussion how to pronounce. Yes. Well, okay. It's when Ma people in America, yeah, it, we, that's how you say it very fast. I'm gonna go watch MacGyver, so you don't even say the C. Um, you say MacGyver. MacGyver. But, 
That's the correct nice. way to say it is Mick MacGyver. Okay. No, I say because everybody says MacGyver, not yes, Giver. Okay. Oh. Yes. So uh, that's, that, that's a discussion to say MacGyver oh. or MacGyver. Yeah. So um, what's is MacGyver or MacGyver? It's Giver. It's Giver. Okay. Giver. MacGyver. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, you're welcome. MacGyver. I've been full all my life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, funny. everybody. Okay, all well, Latin now, we, now we know. It's MacGyver. Okay. Doesn't sound cool. I prefer Giver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can, you, you can say that all you want. I'll know what you're talking about. Um, okay, so for Laura, this word. Beard. 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 <laughs> so what I have is Don't... a very small beard. <laughs> I think of it more like this. Beard. Like the oh, word beer. Okay, <laughs> beard. And you just put a B on it, a D on the end of it. Okay, so <laughs> what uh, what men have on their face is a beard. It's a long sound, and the other is yeah. a short sound. Okay, and then this one is bear. 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 Oh, okay. bear. bear. And it, it's just like this. I'm bear naked. Okay. Bear. Oh my god, there's a bear. A bear bear. A, a bear, bear, bear bear. A naked bear. <laughs> yes, a bear bear. Okay. And <laughs> Sorry, the, the last, the last two words... Uh, you pronounce it the same way? Bear? Yeah. Bear? Uh, no, you say bear and beer. Ah, uh, beer. So here is bear, and then this is beer. Uh, beer. No, I, I, sorry, I, I said this word. Bear, okay. bear, bear. I'm bear. So. Yeah. Bear, bear. Bear, bear. The same sound. Yes, B A R E and B B E A R. Yes. Same sound. Bear and beer. Or sorry, bear and bear are bear. the same. Is the bear pronounced bear? Uh, you say. Hold on one second. Let me make this look good. You just say bear. 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 A bear. And. Um. Uh. And the beard is like the like a beard. And and here and this is beard. A beard with a beard. <laughs> okay. And somebody, a bird with it's a beard. It's the same. Okay. So. A beard, no, a beard. Well, no. This is different because this is bird, it's and this is beard. Beard. Okay, oh, so okay. Bird, 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 beard. Beard, okay. Beard. Oh. Okay, and then somebody up here. Hold on one second. Wow. Oh, yeah, bear, bird, beer. So, bear, bird, beer. Can you guys say that? Bear. Beard. So, bear, bird, beer. Yes, bear, beer? bird, beer. Uh, what was the question? Bird, what is a? Beer. I beer? got beer in my beard. <laughs> yes, you can say I got beer in my beard. Beard. Now that just makes. Now that just sounds weird. Uh, <laughs> I have a beard. I have beer in my beard. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. I've got beer in my beard. <laughs> yes. What's the question? Anybody? I have. I. I got. You would say I have. I have a bird in my beer. A bird in my bird beer. Okay, because got is 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 past tense. Okay. So I have a bird in my beer. Bird in my beer. Okay. Beer. Let's let's try. Okay. Now another rule. Okay. Well, rule number four. 
a K instead of a C. Okay, why? Because the C actually changes its sound when you follow it with an E, an I, or a Y. So you actually needed a new letter in English. So um, when you when when you need a hard C sound plus the E plus the I plus the Y, then you actually use K. So what I'm trying to say is this now you have K sounds that actually sound like C okay so think of think of cat k k k and so the first word is Kelly k k Kelly keeps kissing the kite while Kim keeps kissing Kyle Kelly keeps kissing the kite while Kim keeps kissing Kyle. There you go. Okay, and that has a C sound. Okay, but remember when you have a C and an E, you say an S. So that's why they no longer say. Um, so. you, that's why you say cell because it's S. an S sound. So we created a different letter to still have that that C sound, so to speak, uh, and that's where the K came in, okay? That's why the C and the K are so similar. So <laughs> Kelly keeps kissing the kite while Kim keeps kissing Kyle. Please, what's the what's a kite? What's a kite? A kite? Um, it's something you fly in the sky. So if, uh, um, it's hard to explain, but think of, um, think of a parachute. Um, but it's something you hold on a string, and the wind takes it uh, up okay. into the sky. That's a kite. Thank you, and, Oh, yeah. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and so, Marlise, uh, that word is sent, and it's just like this. Sent and sent. They are the same. Okay? I sent you, I sent you a letter with but one sent in it. Yeah, but that's using the past, okay? Yes? Yes, the word sent with an S is using the past. Yes. It's the same, it's I, same pronunciation. It is the same pronunciation, that is correct. Uh, and for uh, Marlise again, I think you say commentary, but it's with two M's. Commentary. Because you can hear, you say com men. Terry. Okay. What? Uh, no, excuse me, teacher. What of uh, yes. what? What does uh, the the uh, the kind of a speech of for for What's uh, the comment kind? Comment commentary. Uh, calm. C -c -c Commentary. It's a it's a um, C O sound, okay. And with a C O sound, let me see where you go. Let me make sure I tell you this right. It's going to. Uh, I mean, what no. the part the part of a speech? Well, I don't think I understand your uh, question. The C becomes a K. What is okay. the What is the part of a speech for com uh, commentary? Like what it's does the word mean? A, uh, it's adjective. It's verb. It's oh, it's a it's something you do. So commentary is something you do. So it's a verb. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you comment on somebody, or when you give commentary, okay, mm. you are you are um, telling a play by play of what something is going on. So when you're watching a sports game. Someone is giving commentary. You're saying but it's Messi not a passed verb. the ball. It's not a well. Yeah, it's a it's, noun. I mean, the action the, what are you doing is a verb, but the comment is not a verb. Commentary is a an, an, an noun. It's a noun. Commentary. But it's a comment is a verb. Yeah, it's to say something, right? Well, okay. I mean, sure. <laughs> why not? I mean, I, if if you want if you want to say it's a noun, um, I will. You're probably right. Comment. 
Um, but when I think of it, when you're commentary, it's a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. And um, commentary is not a thing, and it's definitely not a person, and it's not a place. So to me, with what I know of, I, th I think of it as a, a verb, because someone is commenting on a play-by-play. -play. So let me, let me look it up to make sure that I'm not telling you something wrong. Because no, you're that right. would mean I was... In so Spanish, you can commentar in the connection. Yeah, that's right. Comment. Comment. Okay, so it is, it, it is a verb. Mm -hmm, yes. yes, in Spanish. Okay. It is. Okay. Okay, okay, good. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're good. You're welcome. You're welcome. But here, look at this. It, it does say that it is a noun in mine. Um, here, let me... Comment. I mean... Yeah, to comment is a verb, but commentario... Yeah, to comment is a verb, but commentario... Commentary is... It's a noun. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, good. So commentary, noun... Comment verb. Yes. Okay. Right, sounds good. All right. You guys can help me as well. Okay. It's All a right. good question. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Now, another rule. Rule number five. Okay. Now, with a G. Okay. When you have a G plus an A, G plus a O, or G plus a U, okay, you get a G sound, and it doesn't matter whether the vowel is short or long. So, let's look at this. And I'm sure you guys know a G sound. G, 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 G. So how would you say that sentence? The bad guy got a gun and bought a gag on a gun. Wow. <laughs> All right. Yes. Bad, you're... Go ahead. Go ahead. The bad guy got a gun and put a gag on the girl. There you go. You are very good in the G sound. <laughs> yeah. All right. Easy enough, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's continue. All right. Okay, now here's something different. Now when you have a G with an E or an I or a Y, the, the G now becomes a J. Okay? So when you see a G and an E or a G and a Y or a G and an I, it now becomes a J sound. So, for example... Gentle gypsy put gel in her hair, then gyrate? Gyrated. I gyrate. That means to move them, to gyrate. Think of think of dancers. Shakira. Yes, exactly. Shakira, she gyrates her her hips constantly, even in her sleep. Yeah. That doesn't sound so silly. Don't go into that. All right, and now I said it also is with a GI. So how would you say this? I like ginseng and ginger. I like ginseng and ginger. Okay, good. And those are the spices. Um, well, ginseng is more like a Something that you drink, something healthy. From Korea. <laughs> okay. Now, there are, like I said, exceptions to every rule. So here are some exceptions, okay, to that rule. And let me show them to you. Okay, so the word give, gill, get, geyser. Girl, okay. What's geyser? Geyser is when water comes out of the ground 
um, like a fountain. That's a geyser. And because it's it beca because of the pressure, okay. the pressure from the ground pushes the water up, uh, and you can here I'll show you Old Faithful. You have a wood famous because of that. Say again. There is a place you have like um, some kind of woods in the United States, which is famous because of geysers. Oh yes, yes, it's called uh, Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Yeah, yeah, Yellowstone. So can you see my 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 screen? Oh, probably not, because I'm not sharing no. it with you. Hold on one second. Sorry, I'm absent-minded today. Dear fiance. Okay, there you go. Can okay. you see? Yes. We see Those Alejandra. are geysers. I see Alejandra. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, now I see it. So you... Okay. Okay, those are those are geysers. Cool. I see. Okay. High pressure water. No, yes, yes. Water under pressure uh, that's under the ground that shoots up because of the pressure that is uh, underground. Okay? Okay. Alright, I'm back. Show us Anna. Okay, now, here is another rule. Okay? It's the double consonant rule. Okay? okay. When you have a short vowel before a double consonant. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Good. Here, let's see. Um, Eagle. A double, a double. Yes, yeah, so when you have, have. I'm trying to wait. Okay. Okay, there. Oh, my computer's slow. Dinner? Dinner. Diner. <laughs> Dinner? Oh no, he ran away. He's gone. Hit and run. Mm. I have problems too, Manuel. Me too, I have problems all the time. Yeah. With the internet. Okay, he's back. Who? He's back. He's back. The girl? I don't know. His what? name is Ben. Yes, he's back. Laura? Yes. Where are you from? Colombia. And you? Colombia. Where? Bogota. I'm from Barranquilla. Nice place. Shakira's everywhere. Hola, Sofía Vergara. En Falcao. Falcao es de Santa Marta, pero sí. Ah, bueno, costeño. Para eso también contamos al pibe. Claro. So Miguel is also from Colombia. Who? Miguel Ocampo Correa. Oh. Acevedo Jose. Where's the teacher from? Our California. Liliana is from Colombia, right? Yes, yes. From Colombia as well. Where? Bogota. Oh, cool. I like that. Yes. Uh, lovely city. I love it. Where is can you, Adel can you guys hear me? Adelia from? Ben is back. Um, are you talking about the singer, Adele? No, actually, we're talking about where are we from. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I might as well join you guys. I am, I am from Dallas, Texas, USA. 
tell us. But you live in Mexico? Well, right now I'm just traveling, and、uh, I haven't lived in、uh, Texas for over three years. I've been living in Asia, so I lived in Thailand, China, and Myanmar. Ooh, what a language! Myanmar, Birmania, so beautiful. Dangerous,、yeah. but beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Birmania,、uh, uh, Spanish, what, Myanmar. What place did、Pieces. you? What place do you like the most? Out of the three places that I lived, I loved Thailand the most.、Nice. Um, it just had everything that I wanted.、Um, but the most beautiful was Myanmar. That was phenomenally yes, gorgeous place. Yeah, yeah.、Um, they have this cute spot with、uh, a wood、uh, ball, like like、yeah. bones. It's, it's a really cute.、Spot. Interesting. In Myanmar, yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. Click it. Oh, oh come on. that's what you're talking about. I'm not from. I'm. I, I, <laughs> I know about cricket. This, this, this.、Uh, no, I do、cricket. have to go、this、to Bogota. Yeah. Yes, and and yeah, you、uh, have to. the West、okay. Indies. You never regret、uh, to do it. Yes, I have I been to Indonesia. I've been、you. to、uh, Java、bad? and I've been to、um, Bali and、uh, Gili Trawangan. So、It、I spent three weeks in Indonesia. That is nice. I mean, Bogota is not the best city in the world, and they have、okay. a lot of pollution, but it's nice. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. I've always、and、heard really good really things、nice. about. The, the only one who thinks that it's not nice is my. But. <laughs> Okay. Well, fair no, enough. He, he can have his own opinion. Yeah, Barranquilla is cool. It's very hot, but it's really cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like mountains, but I also like the beach. So I'm gonna have to find something in between. Bogota is、so、in the mountains, but you can go to Santa Marta. They have mountains and they have beach.、So. Yeah. 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 The north coast of Colombia is beautiful. We have beautiful beaches. The northwest or the northeast. The north, the north of Colombia, the north, of the, north. Coast. the Colombian coast,、okay. the north. Caribbean Sea. We have beautiful beaches. Who is who is listening、oh, to、oh. Evan Essence? <laughs> it's, sorry, it's what me just. It's it's okay. Of Chinlon, the spot of Myanmar that I love,、okay. and you should know it because you were there.、Hmm? You were yeah, I was、him. there. Uh, I will have to see, see it. Chinlong. Well,、yeah. it depends on. Maybe they call it something completely different. No, they call it Chinlong. They call it Chinlong. Well, maybe I call it something different. Bogota is better. My computer's slow right now, so I'll, I'll see. Ah,、uh, okay. They're in a circle. With your beautiful girls there. Yeah, it's a circle.、Um, A little ball, they bounce. <laughs> And all they do is juggle the ball. They、yeah. juggle the ball. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever seen?、Um, <laughs> What the hell? Like, oh, that's.、Uh, I call it something else. In Thailand, they call it something else.、Uh, but I saw everybody playing that in in Myanmar. Everywhere you went, they were playing that game. I just thought they were juggling the ball. I didn't know it was an actual sport. I thought they were just、uh, practicing their、um, control.、Um, I don't know for... how to pronounce this word, so I just write it. Okay, okay. It is a non-competitive sport. <laughs> I agree with you. Yes, non-competitive. So they do not compete with each other. They just they hang out, have a good time. So that, that's cool.、Um, okay, here before before we leave, okay, I want to try this with you guys. These are、uh, the twenty five most difficult words to pronounce in the English language, and、uh, let's see if you guys have what it takes. So、um, I'll just say the word, and then you repeat it. Okay. Thistle. Okay. Thistle. 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 
Okay. okay. And the second one, crisps. 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 Should. 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 Would. 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 It would. sounds just like would. W O O D. Yeah, would. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Close. 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 Order. <coughs> Order. Order. Murder. 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 Air. 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 Literature. 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 Lit that again, lit please. Literature. Literature. Please. Or literature. Literature. Yeah, I say literature, but you can say literature. Literature. Uh, Ten. Yeah, it is. Language. Language. Okay. Language. Language. Number eleven. Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. Number twelve. Deterioration. Deterioration. Number thirteen. Little. 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 I say it wrong. I put a D on there. Little. Little. Okay. Number fourteen. Assailant. No. Yeah. Assailant. Assailant. A or A. I say assailant. 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 Okay, because you never want to say ass. Okay, even if you see it, don't say ass. Okay, uh, number fifteen, catastrophic. 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 Okay, number sixteen, alter. 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 Number seventeen, exclamation. 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 All right, good. Crocodile. Number 18, crocodile. 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 But you can say it fast. You can just say crocodile. 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 Number 19, crocodile. unfortunate. 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 Number 26. Six. 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 That sounds Six. pretty easy to me. Six. Six. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 21, development. 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 Good. 22, decision. 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 23, ambulance. Ambulance. ambulance.